Hi there, and welcome to our video on aneuploidies. Aneuploidy is the term used to describe instances in which the number of chromosomes in a cell does not equal 46. For example, there can be an extra copy of a chromosome, trisomy, or a missing copy of a chromosome, monosomy, making the total number of chromosomes not a multiple of 23. Changes in the number of chromosomes from each biological parent can affect the outcome of a pregnancy, most often resulting in a miscarriage. Studies show that aneuploidy affects almost half of pregnancies that end in a miscarriage in the first trimester. An additional or a missing chromosome is also a common cause of some genetic disorders. Some cancer cells also have abnormal numbers of chromosomes. About 68% of human solid tumors are due to aneuploidies. Let's think back to when we learn about cell division. Ideally, during meiosis, a cell will divide to produce daughter cells that have half the material of genetic material so that when an egg and sperm cell meet, they can generate a cell with the correct number of chromosomes. However, things do not always go as planned. Failure of homologous chromosomes to separate properly during cell division, particularly during anaphase, leads to non-disjunction. When cells are not capable of distributing its genetic material evenly, during the process of cell division, it leads to aneuploidies. Aneuploidies can lead to the development of conditions such as Turner or Down syndrome. Let's describe the type of aneuploidies in more depth. As we previously stated, there are two main types of aneuploidies. There can be an extra copy of a chromosome, trisomy, or a missing copy of a chromosome, monosomy. Trisomy occurs when a person has an extra copy of a chromosome. An individual with trisomy has 47 chromosomes. Common conditions that are a result of trisomy include Down syndrome, which is also known as trisomy 21 and is characterized by an additional copy of chromosome 21. Trisomy 18, also known as Edwards syndrome, and trisomy 13, which is also known as Patau syndrome. The other type of aneuploidy happens when a person is missing a copy of a chromosome, and that is called monosomy. Their total chromosome count equals 45. A common condition that's the result of monosomy is Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome happens only in females because it occurs when the affected individual has only one X chromosome instead of the expected two. Trisomy means that the affected person has three copies of a given chromosome instead of the expected two. Down syndrome, Edwards syndrome, and Patau syndrome are the most common forms of trisomy. Children affected by trisomy usually have a range of birth anomalies including delayed development and intellectual disabilities. Individuals affected by trisomy of chromosome 21, Down syndrome usually experience low muscle tone, short stature, a flat nasal bridge, and a protruding tongue. People with Down syndrome have a higher risk of other conditions, including Alzheimer's disease and epilepsy. They also exhibit a characteristic rounded face, which tends to have a flat profile. Individuals with Down syndrome will experience some delay in their development and some level of learning disability. Trisomy 18, or Edwards syndrome, is characterized by low set ears, overlapping fingers, and or club feet issues, with cognitive development, small skull, and malformations of the sex organs. Survival beyond the neonatal period is uncommon for babies with Edwards syndrome. The third most common type of trisomy is that of chromosome 13, which is also known as Patau syndrome. Patau syndrome is characterized by a small skull, an abnormal opening in the skull, malformations on part of the brain, structural defects of the eyes, cleft lip or cleft palate, additional toes or fingers, polydactyly, congenital heart disorders, such as ventricular septal defect, neural tube defect, where the spinal cord meninges and blood vessels protrude through a gap in the vertebrae, myelomeningocele, and malformations of the sex organs. Survival beyond the neonatal period is uncommon for babies with Patau syndrome. Monosomy is a form of aneuploidy in which only one chromosome out of the expected pair is present. The most known monosomy conditions are Turner syndrome, which affects only females and occurs when a baby has a missing or incomplete X chromosome. It may take one of three forms, the entire X chromosome is missing. There are two X chromosomes, but one of them is incomplete, and some cells have two X chromosomes and others only have one. Girls who are missing only part of a chromosome usually have milder symptoms. Turner syndrome can cause a wide variety of symptoms that affect a range of organs, including the heart, eyes, ears, bones, and kidneys. Most girls with Turner syndrome are born with poorly formed or missing ovaries, which can result in a failure to reach puberty and infertility. Many are also short in stature. Another example of monosomy is Coup de Chat syndrome, French for cry of the cat after the person's malformed larynx. 
a partial monosomy caused by a deletion of the end of the short arm of chromosome 5. Fetal aneuploidy can affect any baby. The risk of having a child with fetal aneuploidy increases with parental age. For example, at 20 years of age, your risk of having a child with a chromosome abnormality is one out of every 1,480 pregnancies. At age 40, your risk is higher, estimating one out of every 65 pregnancies. Or having a child with a chromosome abnormality. If you're planning on becoming pregnant, talk with a healthcare provider about genetic counseling to screen for potential genetic conditions. Fetal aneuploidy and chromosome disorders affect about one out of every 150 pregnancies and are responsible for about 50% of early pregnancy losses. Having an extra copy of a chromosome or missing a copy of a chromosome can affect the outcome of a pregnancy. Trisomies most often result in a miscarriage. Study shows that trisomies cause an estimated 35% of all miscarriages. Although rare, around 1% of trisomies result in a live birth, most often trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. If your baby is born with a trisomy condition, their survival rate could be lower than normal due to the defects that your baby has at birth, congenital defects. Monosomies are less common than trisomies, and only one variation of monosomy X, also known as Turner syndrome, results in a live birth. The most common symptom of aneuploidy is a miscarriage, which is when a pregnancy ends early. A miscarriage will usually occur during the first three months of pregnancy, but can happen at any time. Symptoms of a miscarriage include abdominal pain and lower back aches, cramps, light to heavy bleeding. Although 50% of pregnancy losses are due to genetic abnormalities, like aneuploidy, it's possible to have a baby born with an aneuploidy diagnosis. Babies with aneuploidy are much more likely to have birth defects and are much more likely to face developmental delays and intellectual disabilities. Three tests can diagnose fetal aneuploidy during pregnancy, including chorionic villus sampling, CVS. This test is usually performed during the first trimester. Your healthcare provider will take a small sample of cells from your placenta to test them for genetic conditions. Amniocentesis. Amniocentesis checks for aneuploidy and sometimes other genetic conditions and a few congenital defects. It's done starting at 15 weeks, but typically by 20 weeks of pregnancy. Your healthcare provider will take a small sample of your amniotic fluid to test for a variety of health conditions. Non-invasive prenatal testing usually occurs at 10 weeks of pregnancy. During this test, your healthcare provider will draw a sample of blood from your vein to assess whether or not your baby is at increased risk of having an aneuploidy condition. Pregnant women of 35 years or older are offered prenatal testing because the chance of chromosomal aneuploidy increases as the mother's age increases. Most aneuploidies are fatal for the baby and or cause birth defects like intellectual disability or multiple medical problems that need individualized treatment plans to keep them healthy. It is important to note that individuals who experience a miscarriage can have subsequent normal pregnancies and births. Although aneuploidies cannot technically be prevented, we can try to minimize the risk of developing them by taking a few simple steps, eating a well-balanced diet, getting genetic screenings done before planning on becoming pregnant, not smoking or drinking alcohol, taking prenatal vitamins. As previously mentioned, if an individual has a miscarriage as a result of an aneuploidy, it is possible for that individual to have a subsequent healthy pregnancy. Aneuploidy miscarriages are a result of a genetic mutation that's spontaneous and unpredictable. The risk of having a baby with an aneuploidy diagnosis following an aneuploidy miscarriage is low in most instances. Thank you for watching and have a great day.